The Nashville Shakespeare Festival brings the Bard's words to audiences in exciting and unusual ways and from surprise locations. Join me as we learn more about Pop Upright Shakespeare on this week's Arts Break. A pop-up right is a really unique beast because it's not quite a staged reading and it's not quite a fully realized production. What you want is actors with their scripts playing. It's very similar to what you will see in a callback for a play, and that's something that regular audience members don't get a chance to see very often. It's actors creating something there and then that's very genuine and very honest and absolutely fun. There's a huge advantage to doing just a staged reading over doing an entire production. And the spontaneity that provides is really exciting. And the audience is very aware of choices and decisions that are made in the moment, which is a really big, important part of the artistic process that most people don't get to see. Because we make so many decisions in the rehearsal process, and then when you come see a final performance, you've just seen one decision or one choice made. But the readings are less directed. The directors that we have guiding these readings don't dictate what the actors are doing so much as really just laying out a, an overall feel for the reading. So that gives actors a whole lot of individual input and creativity that is really exciting. As a director, I have seven hours of rehearsal. How do I make this spontaneous and fun, but also understandable to my audience? And so it's an interesting melding of techniques. When you purchase a ticket, you are not told the location of the reading until the day before. And if you don't have your ticket yet, you don't know until the day of. I wanted the whole element of surprise to be part of the fun adventure of pop-up rights. A couple of years ago, I got a text on my phone that said, you're invited to a surprise swing dance. And all it had was GPS coordinates. And I was like, that is the coolest thing. So we decided to just text people the address. So you really won't know where you're going until you get there. I wanted to make sure that people continue to think of Shakespeare as a fun, enriching, playful thing to do, but also reaching into communities where we don't usually go, where we're not expected to be. So people expect us to be in Centennial Park, but when we pop up in East Nashville or West Nashville or at a brewery, that's just an exciting way to say the Nashville Shakespeare Festival is for everybody. For more information about the Nashville Shakespeare Festival and their Pop Upright Shakespeare series, visit us online at wnpt.org slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Martha Rivers Ingram Advised Fund of the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee and a grant from the Metropolitan Nashville Arts Commission.